So what does a good customer portal allow a business or an enterprise to do? Let's uh, take a quick look. It will allow us, allow you as a business, as an organization to provide a, a much richer customer experience uh, whenever they interact with your business. And this is, uh, this is critical because these days uh, the choices are many and uh, once the customer has a choice, the uh, propensity to switch, uh, inclination to switch exists out there. So your customer experience will help in the stickiness uh, due to which a customer stays with you as a business. Increase the revenue per customer, which is also the share of the wallet. Uh, you want to make sure you keep your customers, keep your customers happy, have them stay loyal and spend more with you, uh, with your business, your products and services. Retain more of them. So don't don't keep in a. Uh, it's not a musical chair kind of thing. Just keep on uh, holding on to more of your customers, and it uh, it becomes a uh, it becomes a much more valuable. Uh, business proposition reduce your cost um, when you uh, when you have a, a well defined well structured customer portal uh, operating on your web integrated with your website uh, the costs go down web self service becomes much more usable and also this allows you to uh, differentiate from uh, from your competitors um, so that's a, those are the key reasons uh, key benefits of having a good customer portal you as an organization. Uh, we've all heard this before, build and they shall come. Uh, well, but why should they, why do they typically come? Why would a customer typically come to any customer portal uh, for any, any businesses? There are uh, three main use cases. Uh, a customer comes to your customer portal to find information. Uh, this could be information about your products, about your services, uh, your company, etc. Or a customer has some request. Uh, they have an issue, they want to ask a question, they want to get some help. Uh, that's the another reason why a customer would want to go to a portal. Or to do transactions, uh, this uh, transactions with the company. And we'll see some examples of these in a, in a little more detail in the next few slides. So here's some examples of uh, informational reasons why customers would uh, would visit a portal. Uh, they have either uh, placed an order, uh, they want to check the status of an order or a shipment. Uh, they want to look at uh, a list of products or contracts, support contracts or service entitlements that uh, they have purchased and they own. Um, they want to see a history of support cases, past issues that their team has come up with. Um, or search the existing knowledge repository across the board. So who has faced this issue before, how was it resolved, and things like that. Um, maybe they may want to download some technical documentation, user, user guide, how to go about using the product and so on. So just to give you a flavor of uh, some of the informational needs that the customers uh, might have. For requesting help, they may come to the customer portal. And this is, uh, these are the things that you may want to think of. Uh, what are the customer, uh, how do you help customer request help? Uh, open a support ticket when they have new issues, for example. Um, update or add more information to existing support tickets, existing issues. Uh, any product usage related issues or questions they may have. Uh, shipment related problems, uh, shipment related questions maybe, uh, where to go for additional help. Uh, this could also be where your customer reaches out to others in your customer communities to resolve any issues, uh, to get more uh, information. Uh, as a general segment, customers uh, are able to reach out to the uh, to other constituents within the uh, customer segment, and they're all referenceable. They, they're able to connect with each other. If they're able to do that, uh, the, uh, the the sense of or the purity of information uh, has, is there and the customer's acceptance of that information is also very high these days. Uh, some examples of transactions. Uh, typically, uh, this would come in after the mainstream commercial transaction, perhaps. Uh, maintenance types, purchases, uh, renewal of uh, support contracts, service contracts that they may have, um, RMA, 
uh, return material, requesting uh, any approvals for those, updating, keeping the uh, information on your file updated, uh, updating the billing information, shipping information, etc. Uh, so these are typical typical use cases on the transactions. So when you're looking at, when you're thinking about custom portal, uh, think about when a customer comes in for uh, informational needs or a request for additional help. Or uh, want to do some uh, some transactions like this? Uh, how is it that you're going to enable your customers? Uh, and that's what the portal uh, design that will drive portal design in a in a big way. So what uh, makes a a good portal or a great portal? In fact, um, so we've seen some examples of best customer portals. The first thing they do is it's easy to find. Uh, like uh, Homer Simpson once said, if you can't find it grind it as it struggles with the truck transmission. So don't let your customers grind it. Make it easy for them to find your customer portal. Um, the other uh, key tenet is to make it easy to navigate. Keep it simple. Uh, make it contextual. And, and we'll see some of these in a little more details. Um, many of your customers start finding help on the internet. I mean, these days, Google and Bing have become mainstream. To make your content uh, search, search engine compatible. And uh, keep in mind the usage centricity principle, good web page practices, and design your customer portal based on those. So easy to find. What are some of the ways that uh, you see? Show the links on your main website. Um, offer direct links for portal login. Uh, build portal entry points on as many pages as it is appropriate, all pages if you can. Allow them to log in using minimal clicks, make it easy for them to get into the portal. Uh, and as they navigate through pages, uh, keep a consistent uh, look for the portal entry point. So, so, so build it, make it easy for them to find. Uh, here's a couple of ways that you can potentially do that. You can offer direct links where a customer can uh, click the link and log into their account, their customer portal accounts. You can also offer indirect links where you go to a support pages support section in which most pages would, ha again, allow them to directly log into the portal uh, once they have more questions or, or they want to do a little more transactions or need additional help. Easy to navigate. Um, easy doesn't come easy. Um, you see this, uh, think of your experiences with, uh, with these things, uh, with Apple or Google. So this, uh, what is the key thing that jumps up? It's that simple. So aim for simplicity in your customer portal. Uh, make it easy for customers to uh, to use it, to follow it, um, structure the uh, web content accordingly. Yes, it is uh, it's a bit harder than it seems, uh, but uh, but strive for simplicity. That, that makes a big difference. Make it also easy to request additional help when a customer is on on some of the pages need help. Don't don't make them uh, hunt for uh, ways to have you know get additional help. Just make it easy. Here's an example where uh, you see the uh, the need help button, which actually floats in this case as you navigate up and down. Uh, it's right there, and when you hover on it, uh, you get multiple ways where you can, uh, multiple mechanisms by which you can connect to the company, live help, chat, email, and whatnot. So try to do something like this. Make it very easy, all pages, keep it consistent, uh, but make it easy to request additional help. Search engine compatibility. Um, a lot of us have um, used search engines like Google or anything. As soon as you have uh, an issue, um, these are the places where customers also typically go first to, to find information. So make your make your portal content uh, search engine compatible. Make them your allies, the search engines, the Googles and Bings and the Yahoo's of the world. Uh, follow search engine optimization methods that makes it easy for your content to be found. And once the content is found, customers are more likely to click on it and get them to the, the portals or support areas and get them into your customer portal from there. 